Hey, 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 are you ready? Because I'm ready, so let's do some more PE. Today's lesson is going to be bowling. It's going to be fun. So in today's lesson, we are going to be bowling. We are going to be using some throwing steps with a difference, so make sure you're listening and following along. There are two things you need to remember, though. You need to remember your throwing hand and your opposite foot, so that's thing number one. And the second thing is when we let go of the ball, we point to the target. So remember, the first thing we need to remember is throwing hand, opposite foot. Second thing, when we let go of our ball, we point to the target. We are going to start with the warm-up, so get ready. So we're going to start with a short warm-up. Now, I know we did the longer warm-up for one of the lessons. We're going to do a short one, and we'll do the short one where we are going to be doing activities where we don't do a lot of moving around. So, starting on the music like we did before, we're going to start with jogging in place. Wait for the music. It's coming, I promise. So, jogging in place to start. Make sure you get your feet off of the ground. Jog, jog, jog. Keep those feet moving. Jogging in place. Remember, stay in your spot, don't move around, stay still in your spot, and just jog in place. Alright, next job we're doing the boat. So join me on the floor. Remember, for the boat, we sit on our bottom, we lift our feet, and we paddle, paddle, paddle. Fall on the ground, lift your feet, hands together, and paddle like you're paddling your boat. If you're on your back with your feet in the air, your boat has sunk, go let your boat sit, bottom on the ground, feet in the air and paddle. Good job, keep paddling your boat. I'm going to show you a little more from the front what it looks like. Feet up, paddle, keep my hands together and I paddle when I go to each side. Keep your hands together to make your paddle and go to each side. Okay, next one we are skipping. Remember when we skip, we get our knees up nice and high and the foot on the ground pops or bounces. So skip it. Make sure you get those knees up. Remember the foot on the ground hops, knee in the air comes down to a step. tries to catch it. So remember that front foot always is in front, back foot tries to catch it, galloping. You can do it slow, slow is five, or you can go a little bit faster, and if you've got it then you can go as fast as you need to. Do it safely and carefully. Yeah. 
All right, good job, everybody. Well done. So we are going to start our next activity. So be ready for that. And I'll see you in the next video. Good job. All right, great job. So we're done with the warm up. Now we are going to get ready for our lesson. Oh, yeah. You guys are awesome. Hey, everybody. So today, well, this week, we're going to work on some bowling. We've been doing a lot of throwing, going to targets, throwing and catching. So today, we're going to have some fun with some bowling. Equipment that you need for today. First thing is our trusty sock ball. We know how to make this right now, so we have our sock ball. Then we need something to use as our bowling pins. So if you've got some plastic soda water bottles, you can use those. Um, they don't even have to be the same size, so you could do different ones. All right, so what if you don't have those? Do you have the plastic cups that we used before? Yeah, use those. Or you could have some stuffed animal stand in there. Anything that you can use as a bowling pin. You only need two, but what could you use? Nothing that you can break, so find something that you can use. And then you need something to make your line. Remember, I like to use my sock. It is clean, remember it's still clean, stays clean. That's going to be the line for the ground, for my throwing line. So you could use a pencil, a piece of tape, some string, something that makes a line on the ground. Then your sock ball, two pins, they could be drink water bottles, or you could use some plastic cups, or maybe some little toy figures, anything you can find to act as a bowling pin. So you are going to get that equipment together, so pause the video, go get it now. Okay, so you've got your equipment, right? I'm going to use my two soda bottles. I'm going to put them in a space next to each other. Then I'm going to measure eight footsteps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what? Let's do ten. Nine, ten. And then I put my sock on the ground as my line. All right? Now, we are, as we've been doing before, we are working on throwing underhand the ball. The difference is, when we throw underhand, we keep our hand in the air. Now we're going to get down to the, the ground. So, I step on my opposite foot, I've got my throwing hand, I swing back, and then when I go to bowl, as I come forwards, I bend down low to the ground and roll it along the ground. All right? So, my job is to try and hit the pins. So I'm going to go back, low to the ground, and bowl forward. Oh, it just touched them, but didn't knock them down. That's okay. It still counts if I knock them down. So I'm fine with that. So then I'm going to go back, and then I'm going to do it again. So step, straight arm, swing it low to the ground, roll towards it. Oh, it is so close to it. Now remember, it's probably going to be a little bit trickier because our ball is not a round ball, it is a sock. All right, so in a second you're going to practice. You're going to have a practice round to begin with. So remember, opposite foot, nice straight arm, get low to the ground. Now, I'm throwing bowling to a target. When I let go of my sock ball just then, my hand was pointing at my target. But, it didn't hit him. Why? Because remember, it's not a round ball. So that's something that we're going to have to take into consideration. You may have to change what you're aiming for or the way you aim. So by that I mean, I know, hey, I'm back in the screen now. I know that it went slightly to the side. So this time, when I throw to my target, I'm going to go to the opposite side. And that time I hit down one pin, all right? You guys are going to have a practice round, all right? So remember, opposite foot, straight arm, and then we bend down low to get our ball along the ground, our sock ball. All right, so first round ready, go.
Okay, welcome back from round number one. So that was just a practice round. I forgot to say each minute, each minute, each round is going to be two minutes. That gives us time to have lots of practices and also to stand the pins up if we need to. Now, one of the things I don't want you to do is putting the pins against the wall because I do want them to fall down. So if you're near a wall, move them away just a little bit. If you've got space to it, like I do. All right. So this time we are going to work on counting how many times we hit the bottles. You've got two options. All right. Option number one, just count every time you hit a pin down. Option two is count the number of pins. So let's say in the first bowl I get one, well I've got one. And then the next time I knock both down, well now I've got three points. All right. So you've got two choices. Choice number one, just count how many times you hit the pins, that's fine. Choice number two, count how many pins you knock down. Alright, so when we're counting pins, if I knock down one, it's one. If I knock down two, I get two. If I'm counting how many times I hit pins, if I knock down two, I only get one because I've hit the pins once. Alright, so there are two choices. So round number two, two minutes, remember, opposite foot, we straight arm, get low to the ground, and roll forwards. Ooh, remember... If you hit the pins count, if you hit the number of pins, you can count that as well. All right, so this time you're going to count. Remember, you can either count how many times I'm hitting pins or how many pins I knock down. Okay, so your time starts now. Okay, good job. So now we're going into round three. Your job is to beat what you just got, but you have to score it the same way. So if you were counting, well, how many times did I hit pins? You've got to do it the same way. If you counted how many pins you knocked down, then you've got to do it the same way. So remember, things to think about. Always step on your opposite foot because it balances your body. Make sure that when we are um, bowling the ball, we get down nice and low to it to knock it down. It's going to be a little bit tricky because the ball is not completely round. So make sure you adjust for that. Oh, back in the screen. Adjust for that if you need to. All right. So you've got a number from the first round, from that second round we just did. Now you're going to beat that score. So whatever it was, remember, score the same way. See if you can improve that. Ready? Go.
Alright, so did you beat your first score? You did? You did? You got the same? Awesome! And um, maybe this time you're like, oh yeah, my ball is not round and just rolled all over the place. I was kind of finding that myself. Don't worry about it. Alright? So this time, final round, let's see if we can get our best score. Make sure we're following the steps, opposite foot, straight arm low to the ground. If you knock your pin over, just put it back where it was and then go again. Alright? So remember you're counting exactly the same. If you're counting how many times you hit pins, do that. If you're counting how many pins you knock down, do that. But as long as you're scoring in exactly the same way. Alright? You might need to in between bowls, just give your ball a little squish to make it a little bit more round. There you go. Alright? So final round. Let's see if you can get your best score. Make sure you step on the opposite foot for balance. Make sure when you let go, your hands point at the target. If you point to the target and doesn't hit it, look for where it goes and then adjust when you aim. Alright? So final round, ready, go! All right, good job. So you are done with our bowling activity. All right, here's what I need you to do. All I need from you is for you to post either in words or a picture what you used for your pins. So if you use water bottles, you can post a photo of that. If you use some plastic cups, post a picture of that. If you use some stuffed animals, post a picture of that. So all you have to do is post a picture or words or both, or you can even record it with just your voice and tell me what you used for your bowling pins. Great job today. I will see you in our next one. And our next lesson is going to be bowling with fitness. Ready? I will see you next time. Bye, guys. All right, very nice job. So today we're working on bowling. We were using the correct technique, so throwing hand opposite foot, bending low to the ground, and also that point of release, which is, when I let go of the ball, my hand should point at my target. Nice job, everybody. Okay, so remember, you've got one more thing you need to do. You need to post a photo of what you chose to use as your pins. So you're going to click the media tab, and then you're going to upload there or take your photo there. I'm really excited to see what you used as your bowling pins in your photo. And we are done. You guys are awesome. You're the best. I hope you had fun, and I look forward to our next lesson together.